Welcome, you guys, to Pizza the Pie Show. I'm your host, Pie Patel. And uh, if you're new around here, please take a moment to look around at my other videos if you find my content to be helpful um, and educational and entertaining. Um, go ahead and, and join my friends group and subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope it's helpful. Today, we're going to be talking about a bipartisan bill that was introduced to ban TikTok in the United States. So let's get right into it. Now, why is it important uh, for us to be aware of what's going on with this? Well, this is something that has been a concern uh, for the U.S. government for quite some time now, several years. Um, this ban should have happened some years back, I feel like, but it did not happen. So the concern here is that the TikTok owned by a Chinese company, ByteDance, has raised a lot of fears in the U.S. that the Chinese government officials could gain access to U.S. user data under the Chinese law that would compel the company to literally hand over that information. Now, TikTok has insisted um, that the U.S. user data is safely stored outside of China, they say, but it, they say that it should keep it. It should keep it out of the reach of the government officials. Mm, who are we talking about here? This is a communist country. There is no guarantees, right? I mean, the TikTok is owned by a Chinese company and the government in China is a communist government. They believe in everything that the company, I mean, everyone in, in the country, they have access to everything. So, I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that they would be able to keep the data from the government. And it looks like that seems to be the positive, that seems to be the sentiment on this bill. Now, of course, from this news, uh, Meta and its um, social media platforms have seen an increase in their stocks because of this news, of course, because this affects them, you know, quite a bit. This is their competition, right? So, um, so this committee on foreign investment in the U.S. is in the talks with the company about how to resolve some of the data concerns. Though, though a solution has reportedly been delayed, FBI Director Christopher Wray testified before Congress recently that he's extremely concerned about the Chinese government's potential influence through TikTok on U.S. users. The new bill introduced by Senator Marco Rubio a uh, Republican in Florida and a rep of Mike Gallagher and Raja Krishna Krishnamurthy, a Democrat would ban all transactions from any social media company in or under the influence of China, Russia, and several other foreign countries or concerns, according to a press release. Now, this is a, a huge this is a huge deal, you guys, because I know many of you have probably platforms on TikTok and you're wondering what you're going to do. But you, this is a huge threat and a concern to the government. And this is something that the government should not take lightly. They should 100% um, ban a communist company. That is my thought. Um, I like to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Drop it down in the comments below. I mean, you know, I have nothing against TikTok, but I do tend to agree with many of you that call, you know, TikTok like a little dopamine hit. It's a, it's literally a probably like another article I read said it's like a little fentanyl hit, right? To the younger, younger, um, to the younger generation of kids. So quite frankly, this needs to be nipped in the butt before it gets out of control. That is my two cents on this. Drop yours below. I love to hear your thoughts. Let's talk in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you being here so much. I'll see you in the next episode of Piece of the Pie, where I'll be helping you get your piece of the pie in the crypto space. Till next time. Bye.